Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today we'll talk about uh, integration with API. You know me for a lot of integration with uh, API, with ServiceNow, Salesforce and so on, a lot of connectors. And today we'll talk about integration when this is with proxy, yeah? Because there are some systems where the, um, uh, all the stuff stay uh, on a proxy server and the connection, it's a little bit different when it's a proxy, yeah? So normally when you know, when you, when you have, for example, a Salesforce, you have on documentation, you need a consumer key, consumer secret password and so on. Yeah? You go and test the connection and uh, you have a, a valid connection and then you'll go and do all your steps. If you are under a proxy, if your server is under a proxy, you have here on the UiPath system and and uh, detail what you need to do. So basically you need to see your proxy system from the LAN and then you need to go to um, to UiPath where it's installed the UiPath platform and you need to find these files and modify these files. Yeah. So I have here the folder on uh, UiPath Studio, Program Files UiPath Studio and here you will find on the new versions you will have a proxy file and uh, so you have a proxy file and on the old version you just have uh, uh, this file from here yeah and you have to modify on this file from here you see here you have to go to um, uipad service host x uh, config and in this one you need to modify the proxy file i have the newest version of them of the uipad and i will modify directly the proxy file so this is the proxy file and here Basically, you will put the address uh, of your proxy if it's bypass local and so on. You comment, you remove this comment. Yeah, on the main file, like uh, uh, let's open from here, the file that it was on the uh, on the documentation, it was uh, this one, UiPath uh, host. Let's check it. This one. Yeah, and you can see here, here on the end, that you have this proxy configuration and that is called in the other file. If you want, you can set it directly here, exactly like on the documentation here. Good, but the idea is like this. Uh, there are some proxy where it will be mandatory to put the user and password, yeah? And to simulate this, I don't have a proxy, I will use the, this software, Fiddler from uh, Telerik, yeah. And uh, you download, then you can make tests with uh, uh, with uh, with this software. So I'll use this software to to simulate uh, proxy, yeah. So I can go here on my PC and uh, uh, activate the proxy. For now, the um, the command it's uh, is not activated, and you see that my request is going to the Salesforce server, and. Like I said, for the proxies that um, require user and password, I don't know how safe and how well will be to put the user and password uh, in the file, like uh, like uh, in the documentation, yeah? To put here the user and password. So I will show you what is done inside of my connector and how you can use this on the connector. So on the connector, if you have a normal proxy without user and password, you will have something like this. So put the uh, proxy host, proxy port, and say use the credentials. If I need to pass a user and password, we'll disable the bypass local, I will disable the credential, and the system will create a new credential with um, user and password that I provide, yeah? Let's make a test with this one. So I will go on the on the software, like I said, on this one, and I will activate the proxy that will require a user and password. Yeah? And now if I will go to UiPad Studio and hit test, I will see that I don't have this uh, connection. So let's complete here the proxy. So it will be HTTP, that one two seven zero zero one zero. This is the configuration from the Telerik software. Eight eight eight, and here will be the password one one. Yeah, the password one one. 
Okay, and now let's test the connection. So I have a full connection, and here I'm able to, to do stuff, yeah? So I can get data, and everything is going via proxy. If I will not have this uh, type of connection, for example, if I don't put the user and password, if I don't put here the user and password, you will see that the connection will fail. Save. And uh, if I test it now, I have an invalid connection. So the Salesforce connector, the my Salesforce connector has this proxy and password. And also ServiceNow will have this um, uh, user and password and all this configuration for proxy to be able to bypass this proxy and to be able to work via REST API with uh, this proxy system. So as usual, follow, uh, try to follow me on the YouTube, on the Christian Egulescu channel, and you'll find a lot of videos here about a lot of integration that I create and examples um, of um, how to use this integration on your iPad. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Stay safe.